Each year, about one out of every 100 babies in this country is born with a heart defect. Often the problem can be fixed with a minimally invasive procedure or surgery. Yeah, even so, for a small number of children with real complicated heart defects, the answer is not so easy. But a new 3D heart mapping tool developed here in Atlanta might help. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here to talk about it. And so, Beth, how does this work? Well, Sonia and Tom, it's pretty incredible, uh, this tool, because it gives heart surgeons a chance to practice and problem solve before they head into the operating room. So Anna Malcolm's surgeon, Dr. Kirk Canner, knew that he was facing a complicated procedure that could be done several ways, but he didn't know which way would work the best. So he asked Georgia Tech engineers to build him a three-dimensional heart, a model of Anna's heart to help him choose the right procedure for her. At 15, Anna Malcolm is a frequent flyer here at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta's Sibley Heart Center. Basically, I would say this is a home away from home. Because when Anna's mom, Samantha Sprouse, was still pregnant, an ultrasound revealed that Anna would be born with a complex series of problems with her heart's ventricles and valves. She has unbalanced AV canal with a hypoplastic right ventricle. Deep breath. Basically, Anna's heart was pumping blood in all the wrong directions. The blood was pretty much mixing and going wherever it wanted to go. Oxygenated blood would go back to our lungs. Unoxygenated blood was going out to our body. Yeah, it was a problem. Anna went through three open heart surgeries, and the third, called a Fontan procedure, worked for a while. She started getting sick more. She started feeling unwell. And um, that's when we found out that we were going to have to do the fourth surgery, the Fontan revision. Yet this time, children's cardiothoracic surgeon, Dr. Kirk Canner, had a new tool. He said that we were going to go in and do a cardiac MRI, and they were going to take just a lot of pictures. So the heart is going to be right here. The images were sent to Georgia Tech, where a team of engineers from several disciplines used them to build an exact 3D computer model of Anna's heart. It's really interesting. Because these models give surgeons like Dr. Canner as many practice runs as they need. Once we've got the model, we can do virtual surgery on the computer and come up with different options, surgical options, to correct the patient's heart problems. And so with this heart, we can see the ventricles and the pulmonary arteries, and we can move it around. Canner typically performs four or five virtual surgeries, and then the tech team looks at how each option would affect the patient's heart function. And say, well, number three looks like it's going to have the best results. And then with that in mind, we can go to the operating room more confident that what we're going to do in this complex patient is going to work. For Anna, the fourth surgery seems to be the charm. She's feeling stronger and has more energy. She can actually get out and do things. I think she's doing well. She's doing really well. And Dr. Kanner and the Georgia Tech team are now working on helping a young patient in Switzerland. A surgeon there has sent them image of the child's heart, and Georgia Tech has created the 3D computer model, and Dr. Kanner is now practicing the different surgical options, and he and the tech crew will never meet this child, but they could affect the outcome of a surgery that's going to take place more than 4,600 miles away from Atlanta. So it's really an, uh, an amazing technology. It really is. That's so impressive. So are there other surgeons who are asking for help? Yes, a lot of cardiothoracic surgeons, he says, you know, he'll get at least a few a year from all over the country saying it's really for these very complicated cases where they're not sure which option is going to work. Those are the cases that they're consulting with him, asking the team to come in from tech and really take a look. But they can kind of troubleshoot it before they ever make a cut, which yeah. is, that's incredible. Absolutely. Amazing breakthrough. Yeah. All right, Beth, thanks. Thanks so much. And we're going to...